Charlotte, North Carolina, where we have running back Jonathan Stewart joining us. It looks like when we're watching you guys, Jonathan, you guys are just having a ball out there, of course, because winning is fun. But can you do it? Can you run the table and have the perfect season? I mean, yeah, I mean, but first of all, I got to start, you know, one game at a time. And that's been our main focus all year is, you know, um, just going out there each week and just competing, you know, for each other. Um, you know, this team's got, you know, tremendous chemistry and character, um, you know, all starts from the top of this organization. It's going to be interesting to see if Cam and some of the other starters are sat after the uh, first round bye is clinched in the last couple of games. Um, but let's talk a little bit about you. You have 232 rushing attempts this year. That's the most you've ever had in your career. You still got four games to go. You need your legs under you. You're about to have a thousand yard season. How are you holding up? I'm holding up really well. Um, you know, Coach Rivera and the training staff, they do a good job of, you know, making sure that, you know, the starters and, you know, some of the vets, you know, um, you know, take it easy and, you know, some certain things, you know, throughout the week um, it's modified for some guys and stuff like that. But, you know, it's all about, you know, who, who can remain healthy and um, who can remain focused on this, uh, on this run to the playoffs. Well, here at NFL Network, we're getting ready for this Thursday night football matchup tonight between the Cardinals and the Vikings. And there's a lot of talk about Carson Palmer, who's having an MVP-type season. But your guy there in Carolina is doing pretty good himself. Could Cam Newton be the MVP? Should he be? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this guy, every week, you know, his, his preparation throughout the week, his focus, his leadership. And, um, you know, on the field, there's nobody better to play with on, on a football team. Um, you know, he, he, his drive, his, his um, personality, it just takes over the game, and it's contagious for us. I mean, I love playing with him. Um, you know, the celebrations, uh, you know, everything about him. It's, it's, it's been a wonderful, week, wonderful several years, however long he's been playing here. <laughs> and you say the <laughs> celebrations. We've had a lot, a lot of fun watching that, too. We saw Cam take the ball away from the ball boy, give it to the kids in the stands. But we have some video of you and your touchdown celebration. Let's see if we can roll some of that <laughs> against the Saints last week. You get into the end zone. You lay down on your stomach. Uh, and you kind of did like a Superman. Let's see if our producers can roll that video. A Superman uh, kind of move into, is it, is it the dab? Tell me, tell me what that is. What was that? Yeah, so I just kind of fell into that Superman dive, and when I was on the ground, I was like, shoot, I might as well dab on the folks right quick. So hit, it, hit them with the dab. <laughs> all right, let me help you out here. I'm still learning the nene from my five-year-old and the whip and all that, so obviously I'm very behind. Get me up, yeah. up to speed on what the heck the dab is. What does it mean? Where did well, it come from? Man, the dab is just, you know, you just, it's just you dancing. You just, it's like any, any other dance move to me. Um, you know, you're just, what's up, fam? Like, uh, dab on the folks. Like, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it really it doesn't like have exactly else. any meaning. It's just something cool to do. But check this out. Uh, you guys even got your owner, Jerry Richardson, to do it. Take a look. Everybody wants to see you dab. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a one to ten scale, rate that. How did how did he do? Uh, he did a good job. I was surprised. Um, you know, and it's good that our owners are part of it. I mean, this is what it's all about. You know, it's about you know you know we're in a business where you know not a lot of people get to be in our position, and uh, you might as well enjoy it to the max. And you know, this team understands that. And you know, right there you see it from our owner. You know, a man of character, a man of integrity, and you know he's enjoying his time too. One of the reasons you are in the position you are in is because of head coach Ron Rivera and the job that he is doing. What makes him so effective? Um, I think he understands his team. Um, he understands what it is to, to, to build a team, a true team. And, you know, it's the personality. It's the guys in the locker room, you know, allowing certain guys, allowing them to mold, you know, you know the personality of the team and not to really be so... Um, you know, over the top about, you know, certain things. And um, he just lets us play. He lets us be who we are. And, I mean, he does that with the coaching staff, too. I mean, um, you know, lets the coaches coach in, um, in their own format. Next up, you guys have the Falcons, losers of five straight games. Hey, that looks like a trap game to me. How do you avoid a letdown? Um, just like we've been doing um, the last 12 games. I mean, just go out there and compete and just trust, you, trust your coaching. Um, and just go out there and ball out. All right, Jonathan Stewart, best of luck. We're going to have so much fun watching the Panthers as they 
try to reach perfection. Thanks so much. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. And hey, guess what, everybody? What we got? We've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.